professional. What's that? Exactly. Okay, so I came out of the cold Sunday morning, but that's good. It's not that bad. Though. It's not bad today. No, 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 it's not. No, no. It's not that bad. I went inside. Oh, you got a free coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. Not that bad. I got a free coffee. Roll up the rim to win. Yes, not bad at all. Okay, so I came here and I had a phone call last night. And you, I'm sorry, you are? Tim McDougal. Tim McDougal. It's not bad. It's not bad just to hop in somebody's car and you don't know who that is. There's a guy, there's a guy in the back seat. Maybe it's like a scene of the Godfather. Boom. Okay, so I got a call last night and then I... That wasn't, I wasn't on my best uh, interview, just da, da, boom. And we're here for the convoy, waiting for the convoy of trucks. They're supposed to be the, anti the yep. Okay, I'll shut up. What is this all about? Well, it's just a, it's a convoy of trucks. We're headed to Ottawa to uh, show our, our lovely Prime Minister that uh, we're, we want to take back our Canada. Are you being sarcastic here? Our lovely Prime Minister. Our, he is lovely. Our, he's, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. I mean, he, nice long hair. Nice socks. He does selfies. He has good socks. So, good socks. <laughs> and he, he does selfies. He uh, does do good selfies. And uh, compared to Stephen Harper, you know, he had communication with the public. So why are we against it? Well, some of his decisions just don't seem like they're... Uh, they're healthy for Canada. Our, you know, our system is broken. We're no longer looking after our homeless. We're no longer looking after our veterans. We're no longer looking after so many different people, seniors. Um, so we're just here to tell them that, listen, Canada has woken up and we're uniting and we're saying no, we're, we're not gonna put up with this anymore. And uh, things like the carbon tax, uh, I don't think that it's a it's a good thing. You never mentioned immigrants once. Well, it's not all about immigrants. You sure? Is it just? I'm absolutely 100% sure. Canada needs good people coming in, but we need a system which with which we make sure that the people that are coming in are good for Canada and they want to enrich Canada. They don't want to take away from Canada. And right now it seems that we have an awful lot of people that want to take from Canada, but they don't want to give back. How many percentage is there that's coming from this convoy that's really concerned about the oil, the pipeline, and how many are just plain, we'll say racist, but I don't think, it, so honestly, you know, the and white, I'm, English, French, Canadian. Yeah, how many people? But did, did you listen to the interview last night? I did. I they, listened to your they, interview last those, night. Those truckers, uh, they could handle those radical. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, the problem is, is we're all Canadians. We all deserve a say. So the radicals are going to have a voice as well. But we don't want the, the, the middle of the road voice to get lumped in with the radical voice. We are just proud Canadians. We, we are concerned about our country. We see a decline in our country. <clears throat> Welfare stats are raising, you know, all of that sort of stuff there. And we're, we're just concerned about it. it. It's not all about immigrants. And we believe that, you know, oil and gas is, is important to our country. We, we buy from Saudi Arabia when we produce gas right here. How much, come on, let's, let's face facts. You built a pipeline, okay, it will cause a lot of jobs, no problem. Yep. After the pipeline's done, mm -hmm. it, there's still going to be jobs. What kind of job? Maybe there's going to be maintenance jo jobs. There, what about the jobs at the refinery that it would create? How many jobs would it create in St. John? We don't know. Just like we the don't forestry, know. And just like the forestry, when we changed the Forestry Act, yep. Irving was supposed to build all these paper mail yep. and sort of create all kinds of jobs, but it didn't. All it does is create it for us. It didn't create those many, many jobs that they said in a capitalist system. It's very, it's to make money, make money and with less people. So the pipeline, and it's, re, it's known to be an environmental disaster, it could happen. Well, look what just happened in Manitoba. We had a, a, a train full of oil that and derailed. 20 minutes away from the news conference. So... It, Was that planned? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so really, I mean, there, of course, if there's new technologies and things like that, Charles, we have to, you know, we have to explore that sort of stuff. But at the same time, we can't just completely phase out oil and gas. I mean, think about how it would be today. How would your house be today without oil and gas? 
Would, would you have woke oh, up we this were, morning? We would have had just. We would have had <laughs> just something else before before but, our forefathers. You know. Or you know, so our solar panels and our wind panels is that going to produce well, an, in, enough power in, to? And a hundred years from now, it could. A hundred years we, from now, we don't know the future. But if you listen to some of the progressives, they're saying you know twelve years. <laughs> uh, how much? Oh, was that? Here's something in the back. No. What are the trucks that bring stuff to you? That's got to be all fuel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I just said they say David Suzuki wants to make a speech. If all these trucks that travel these highways stop, you know what the world would be like. Mm -hmm. If you think about the carbon tax and you think about New Brunswick, okay, all of our goods are transported by trucks. If you want to get groceries to Miramichi, it's got to go by truck. Yeah. If you want to get groceries to Campbellton, yeah, there's no question about you know, it. And, but to progress for the future, we're gonna, it won't be truck. It'll be something else. It, you know, what do you foresee New Brunswick being a rural province? What do you foresee it being? I foresee <laughs> a big huge tank transport truck with solar panel on top of it. And that's the thing, they're taking jobs away from drivers. Could be, could be, or there could be the satellite. Progress the is always uh, panel could be uncertain. There's always, there's always going to be good and bad with progress. Yeah, exactly. Right? There's always going to be the downside of progress. The the downside of a fifteen dollar minimum wage is more of the uh, self checkouts. Mm. Yeah, like this thing here. Yeah. What are you, What are you going to do? How do you fight that? Right. So. Our yellow vest convoy, that's that's what it's about. It's about waking up Canada, uniting Canada, and showing Canada that people care again. You smoke marijuana? Do I smoke marijuana? Yes. Of course, you can say that now because it's legal. Uh, how many joints are you going to smoke to listen to all that BS uh, once you get to Ottawa? All the BS? Oh, I won't be listening to the BS. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> we've, got all, we've got all good stuff coming. Yeah, got, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've, they've gotten... Uh, <laughs> well, I, I believe Doug Ford is going to speak. Doug Ford. And I believe that um, uh, Max Bernier is going to be there. Max, who's him again? Uh, he's with the I know, I know, I know, I know exactly what he is. <laughs> and I don't know if Mr. Shear is going to make an appearance or not. But uh, I know there's been some invitations. So you're going, and you expect the world to know? Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. They got off the boat uh, from Newfoundland, apparently, at 7 a.m. How many was there? How uh, many they're saying there? 60 trucks. 60 trucks? They're saying 60 trucks got off the boat and uh, are somewhere between here and there. So 60 trucks are gonna come here? The, that's the plan. How they're gonna go down? The, the plan is for me to escort them in uh, along the highway there by the Regent Mall and down Smythe Street. Okay, down Smythe Street. Unless plans change, that was the original intent. Uh, hopefully with the schedule, if they're a little bit behind. Smythe Street, wow. Oh, go down Smice. Okay, go down Smice. And then uh, we will line up here, do a few speeches, and then head out of town. We're just hoping that they're not behind schedule. That could be a lot of action here. Could be fun. And you're going to film everything. What's your web, what's your Facebook? Uh, we have, it's Yellow Vest New Brunswick. Yellow Vest, Yellow Vest Canada New Brunswick. Uh, it's on Facebook. How is that going anyway? It's going good. We so have a lot guys, of we have a lot of support here in New Brunswick. Every Saturday you protest. Every Saturday we we've, we've got protests. Uh, we've got them down in Moncton, St. John, Trackety, Were you doing Fredericton. That yesterday? Uh, no, uh, I'm not. I wasn't there yesterday. No. But uh, yeah, we've got them all over the province, and we've got a few up north. And there's actually supposed to be trucks that are meeting us on the border from up north. Uh, I was in contact with them yesterday, and there's another group that's going to meet up with us up there. Any last words in the back? Not really. No. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charles, for your time. No, uh, and uh, maybe I, I very much appreciate it, and uh, we, we look forward to everybody getting out and uh, checking out this Yellow Vest oh, Convoy. You think I deserve a ride home? You deserve a ride home, sir. Okay. Absolutely. Stay, stay tuned. We're going to put this on. Thank you very much. No problem.